technology and livelihood education, bread and pastry production. Bread and Pastry Production, First Quarter, Lesson 2. Our topic is Baking Tools. Baking can be a lot of fun, but without the right equipment, it will only cause you a lot of headaches. As a baking enthusiast, having tools is not enough, but you must be equipped with the skill and knowledge on the proper use of these tools. This lesson will surely make you realize what is the right tool to be used for the right job. Our topic is baking tools and their uses. Measuring tools. Measuring tools. First is the measuring cups. They are used to measure dry and liquid ingredients. It is consists of two types, namely dry measuring cups and liquid measuring cup. A dry measuring cup is nested in set of 4 to 8 cups which is made of metal or plastic. These are used to measure ingredients such as flour, sugar, and oats and also for semi-liquid ingredients such as jam, shortening, sour cream, and peanut butter. Next is the liquid measuring cup. It is made of clear glass or plastic have a pouring spout, and has a clear measuring markings on sides. Measuring spoons. It is used to measure a small amount of ingredients. Weighing scale. Used to measure large quantities of ingredients for baking purposes. A dietetic or spring form scale where a small quantities of ingredients are weighed. Timer. It monitors the baking time and rising of the dough. Oven thermometer. Most oven thermometers vary from top to bottom and side to side. Place an oven thermometer next to food while cooking to ensure the proper temperature. Mixing tools and utensils. First is the mixing bowls. It comes in various sizes with sloping sides to ease mixing. It can be made of pottery, glass, metal, or plastic. Stainless steel mixing bowls are best used in baking. Rubber scraper. It is a pliable rubber or plastic used to scrape or remove remaining ingredients from the side of the mixing bowl. It is also known as rubber spatula. Another mixing tools is the wooden spoon. They are used as mixing spoon. Some cooks prefer to use wooden spoons because they do not transfer bodily heat as much as metal spoon. Flour sifter. It is used for sifting and adding air to flour and other dry ingredients. Electric mixer. It is intended for mixing, folding, beating, and whiffing food ingredients. Mixers come in two major variations, hand mixers and stand mixers. Pastry blender. It has a handle with a wire attached into it and it is used for cutting pots into smaller pieces when making pastry dough. Next are the cutting tools. Chef knives or French knives are all-purpose knives used for a variety of chopping, slicing, and mincing tasks. Bread knife. It has a serrated edge. This helps cut bread or cake without crushing it. Another cutting tools are the kitchen shears. They are used for cutting dried fruits and vegetables, fresh herbs, and cutting pastry. It is also used in cutting parchment paper. Grater and shredder. It is used to grate, shred, or slice vegetable, fruits, and cheese. Cookie cutters. They are used to stamp out individual cookies from rolled dough. 
They are made of thin sheet metal or plastic that has been molded or formed into shape. The cutting edges must be even and sharp enough to slice through the dough cleanly. Dough cutter. It is used to cut dough during scaling. Never pull the dough for it tears out the gluten strand. It is also called bench scraper. Metal spatula. This is also called a pallet knife. A large spatula is used for frosting cakes, while small spatula is used to loosen cookies from the pan and to level the flour. Rolling pin. It rolls out, flattens, or tins the dough or paste. It may be made of wood, metal, marble, or synthetic materials. Pastry wheel. It has a very sharp, round, nickel-plated blade attached to a handle. The wheel rotates as it is pushed over rolled dough, making long, smooth, continuous cuts. Pastry brush. It is made of soft, flexible nylon or unbleached hog bristles. It is used for greasing pans, egg wash, and brushing off cake crumbs. Parchment paper. It is grease resistant, non stick, heat proof, quick release coated paper. It is used as lining, baking pans, and making piping cones for decor work. The paper can be reused until it becomes dark and brittle. War cooling rack. They have feet that raise them above the counter so that the moisture does not collect under cooling baked goods. These racks can also be used for glazing and confectionery works. Decorating tools. Pastry tip or piping tubes. They are plastic or metal tubes attached to the tip of the pastry bag or piping bag to achieve the desired design when piping out icing. They are available in plastic and metal. Cake decorator. It is a set used in decorating and designing cake and other pastry products. Pastry bug. A funnel shaped container of icing or whipped cream. Baking wares. First is the tube center pan. Deeper than a round pan has a hollow center which is removable and used for baking chiffon cakes. Muffin pan. It has 6 or 12 formed cups for baking muffins and cupcakes. Jelly roll pan. A hollow rectangular pan used for baking cake rolls. Loaf pan. Used for baking loaf bread. Cake pans. It comes in different shapes used as a container of batter for cakes. Cookie or baking sheet. It is a flat aluminum sheet used for baking cookies. And finally, the ovens. These are the workhorses of a bakery and pastry shops. Oven are enclosed compartment used for baking using hot and dry air. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.